Today, I'm speaking to you as the Women's Resource Center volunteer, and this year, I'm honored to be the president of the Women's Resource Center Board of Directors. We all make choices on how and where we spend our time, energy, and money. These choices are in part driven by a desire to leverage our efforts and maximize their impact in the community. At the Women's Resource Center, we touch the lives of thousands of women in our county who form the cornerstone of their family, often providing their only income and support. These women's success creates a tremendous ripple effect through their immediate family, their neighborhood, and ultimately all across Manatee County. The Women's Resource Center is a powerful force that can and does change the lives of thousands of women each year. I would like to challenge each of you to look inward at your own courage and compassion and connect with the Women's Resource Center. Assist us in the important work that we do. Thank you. After 16 years of marriage, I was contemplating divorce. I had three kids and they were my first priority. I was worried about how this would affect them emotionally. I also had my own business and that was a concern as well. Will I be able to keep my business? Will I have to sell it? I knew about the WRC through a client, so I decided to make a counseling appointment to find out how to tell my kids that mom and dad are getting a divorce. I was making some really hard decisions that were affecting our family and I was scared, but my counselor connected me to a parenting coach who helped me work through what my kids would be feeling during this difficult time. Through the Ask an Attorney program, I attained accurate information on the divorce process and cost. I am now divorced and happy, my kids are happy, and my business is doing just fine thanks to the WRC. I am truly thankful to have a resource like the Women's Resource Center in our community. I've had to make a number of life changes recently. I'm a former business owner who ran a successful business for many years. I did marketing and web design that helped companies find their voice and market themselves successfully. When I had to close the business this year, I couldn't do the same thing for myself. Not only was I devastated, I was navigating hurdles I was unprepared for and scared to face. I haven't looked for a job in 30 years. I'd given to the Women's Resource Center in the past, but suddenly I found myself on their doorstep as a client. I was a businesswoman and a donor. I never imagined I'd need their services, but there I was. And they were there for me. I found guidance, support, and help. They were really my anchor. They were a catalyst for growth, educationally, professionally, and personally. With their help, I have additional skills to hunt for jobs. I know how to interview effectively. I've discovered opportunities that I didn't see before. But best of all, I have a plan that gives me confidence and hope. To me, they're a career center, classroom, a support system, and a box of Kleenex all rolled up into one. Like I said, I had no idea I'd find myself needing their services, nor did I expect to find the depth of help that was waiting for me. And I only tapped into a few of their programs. The Women's Resource Center truly offers services for every woman. As a young, unemployed widow, I felt I had nowhere to turn. I have two small children, and all of a sudden, I was left with the prospect of raising them on my own. Then I heard about the Women's Resource Center. It is just amazing how many resources are available at the center. I took advantage of the career counseling, one-on-one -on -one mental health counseling, and parenting classes. When I started, I didn't even have a resume, and through my sessions with the employment coach, I got my resume together as well as a plan for my job search. Through an informational interview, I learned about Freedom Village. I have been employed for over a year, recently moved into a new home, 
and my daughters and I are moving on with our lives. Without the compassion and services I found at the Women's Resource Center, I don't know where I'd be today.